Hi guys, it's Irit and this is the second project I made for the online crop. Um, I'll just start talking about what I'm doing. I took the stencil, um, that floral Dear Lizzie stencil, and I sprayed it with the yellow Dilutions Mist and then I absorbed um, the leftovers kind of with another uh, piece of cardstock. Um, and just look how beautiful the white cardstock looked only with that um, yellow mist. But I had another plan. I wanted to try to make, yeah, kind of like to fill the page with the positive and the negative of the stencil. So how I did that was, as you saw, I sprayed it with the, I sprayed the stencil with the pink mist and then I just used it like a big stamp on my um, on my white paper and that gave me kind of like the negative in yellow and the positive in pink or the other way around because I'm never sure <laughs> which is which but I just love how it looks and you do have to be like a little bit now I'm just like playing around and yeah just I think I have like a couple of like two more backgrounds from this uh, experiment and um, you want to clean those dilution mists because they are not permanent and they are super reactive with water and um, you know anytime you will get anything there wet um, you will reactivate the mist so just clean them fast and yeah so when you do this weird technique of using your stencil like a big stamp um, and you've already it's actually I think if I wanted to uh, get a more uh, accurate look um, it probably would have been a better idea to start with the pink so you know, mist your stencil on another piece of paper, which you can also use then, um, like later as a background, um, and then put the stencil like a stamp on your background. Clean it, and then actually use it um, like you normally would and just mist it. I, I actually, I, I don't know why I didn't think about it. <laughs> um, because my way, I had to really, um, try to get it like perfectly positions, positioned with I, which I didn't and I actually like how that looks because that gave me like a little bit of a white um, you know areas uh, between the two colors and I really like how that looks um, but yeah I should have totally done it uh, the other way around so first the pink and then the yellow but anyway I really really love how it uh, turned out um, I think it's a really great way to use any stencil. I mean, you can do this with any stencil, just, you know, use it as a, as a stamp with one uh, mist and then I use it normally with another mist and then you'll have like, um, you know, two colors on your background. Um, yeah, and so now I, I want to use this cute photo of my daughter and I'm gonna use that uh, chipboard frame from uh, Rise and Shine, the new Amy Tan collection. And I also want to use that uh, lovely Love uh, gold chipboard piece. That's uh, Maggie Holmes confetti uh, for crate paper. And that came in the embellishment uh, kit. And I'm just gonna add it to my frame. And then, um, yeah, I just love how those two pieces look together. Um, the frame and the love uh, chipboard piece. It just looks really great. And I did this um, folded thing with the pattern paper and I really like how that looks, but it's just too um, bulky. So it's not gonna make it on my page. And now I want to use another layer of pattern paper behind my photo, but I want to, um, to add some yellow to it because it's just like the green and and yeah, I'm going to use the stencil that we got in the March, <laughs> March color kit. Uh, and I'm going to use again the yellow mist, but this time with like this um, distress blending tool. Um, and 
so that's like a really nice way if you're a little bit uh, worried about, um, you know, misting and, um, you know, not having that control, uh, but you want to use like a color, um, you know, a mist in a color that you love. So you can totally use it like this. It works really well. Um, you know, the paper gets a little bit wet, but um, you can still use a very small amount. And I don't know if you can see, but my paper didn't really buckle. Not that it matters because it's such a tiny layer behind my photo, but it worked really well. And I'm going to like my blending tool still has a lot of mist in it. So I'm also going to use it to um, color a bit the edges of uh, some of my pattern papers um, just with that yellow kind of to bring uh, all the layers together. And yeah, I really love how that looks. I think you can see see it better in the close up uh, photos at the end of the video. But um, yeah, I think it looks great. So now <laughs> I'm trying to decide where I want to put my photo and I'm trying to find a compromise between somewhere that looks good and somewhere that covers maybe a part of the um, like the background that I'm that I like less and because there are parts that I really really like and I don't want to cover up so I'm going to do that a few more times and I admit that I switched off the camera and um, yeah just <laughs> tried a few more times just because I wanted to keep in mind also um, that wherever I position the photo I also want a little like some space for embellishing and there it is I made the decision behind my photo there's like one of the flowers that I didn't um, like as much as the other parts so I just I chose that place for my photo and now I'm just gonna add some uh, embellishments and this was actually the fun part um, I'm gonna start with some sort of like a paper base and uh, that's gonna be a couple of these uh, squares from the Webster's pages paper that we got in the embellishment kit um, as well as these cute, um, I don't know what they are, like banners? Are they banners? Um, the Heidi Swap banners that came in the embellishment kit, <laughs> maybe, or the Project Life kit, one of the two. And I think the embellishment kit. And they are super cute. And I'm also going to use a couple of the die cuts that came in the March kit, the um, Pink Fresh Studio uh, die cuts, which I love. And I don't know, somehow I, I didn't use um, use them up last month. Yeah, just because I didn't have enough time to scrap. So that's the reason. And yeah, I'm just building my layers and I'm going to add um, a few more bits and pieces, uh, some gold accents and... I used like two circular uh, die cuts and I cut them both uh, kind of into half and added them at the top and the bottom. I really love to do that. I think it's a great way um, to get a more uniformed look and also uh, stretch your supplies. And I'm going to fuss and fuss, but uh, eventually I keep it more simple. That chipboard piece is going to go back to the package, even though I love it. <laughs> um, there it goes back and I'm going to add a couple of the um, these gorgeous Heidi Swap uh, chipboard like gold foiled stickers and these came in the Project Life kit and yeah so this is going to go up on YouTube on the 3rd of May and um, the 3rd of May is the third and last day of our online crop at the Hip Kit Club member forum on Facebook. And uh, I really hope you join me. I am hosting the first ch challenge of that day and it's about using uh, stencils and masks. So um, I really, really hope you join me and... Um, yeah, you don't have to be a sub subscriber to play along with us, as far as I know. Um, so, yeah, there's like tons of challenges and um, lots of pretty uh, projects from uh, all the members of the design team. 
uh, I hope I can also play along a bit. Um, more than a bit, I hope. <laughs> we'll see what my daughter has to say about it. <laughs> and oh yeah, I'm adding a few little stickers. Uh, they are also from the February kit, no March kit, sorry. And here are some close-ups. You can see all the lovely details and look how gorgeous that uh, background looks. I'm so happy. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my layout. I hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.